morning, girl. Good morning, kids. Good morning, kids. Hello. Butthead is quite sassy. Okay. So we're going to go down here. We're going to open this gap. And we're going to let the cows go through. But I have to take loose a fence line real quick before we do that. <laughs> like herding cats, huh? <laughs> uh, how many of you guys know of any farmers or ranchers who have cattle that follow them like kittens like this? I think that's really a testimony to good animal husbandry, to be honest with you. I, I just, they're just wonderful animals, and if you treat them with, with good respect and you treat them right, they'll follow you. They'll love you. So let's go right here and take loose this wire. A couple knots to undo right quick. I have to take this loose and then move the cows into this section of pasture. This is an electric fence. Dog fennel, dog fennel, dog fennel. Go away, go away. All right, there we go. These girls know it's moving time. <laughs> Watch them, they know. We'll turn the camera around, and let them run by us here. I need a head count, you guys gotta help me out. Give me a good head count. Here they come. Come on girls, you, come on babies, come on. Happy cows. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Good morning, everybody. You guys still counting? Good morning. Come up. Woo. Come up. 211 here is coming in on the rear a little strange. That cow just walked by. There's Tammy the donkey. 211 acts like she's got something in her throat. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to keep an eye on her. Now, I'm going to latch this gate back real quick, and uh, you guys watch the cows for me. I'll be right back. <coughs> Alright, tie my fence wire back that I just took loose. You hear my neighbor mowing his yard. I think we've all been on vacation. All the neighbors, all the friends around the Stony Ridge have all been on a little vacation. <laughs> I'm tying a knot right now around this fence wire, and I'll show you in a second why. I'm going to give you a little bit of farm science here in a second, too, and we're going to watch these guys graze. So I have to tie on, you guys can see a fence wire right here. In a very, in a video coming very soon, we're going to be attaching an electric fence wire to go along the top of the whole farm. So three miles or more of electric fence. We're going to walk up here. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see. The reason that fence is running along the top is so the cows don't push on it. And, and you'll see in a second, there we go. And so we can fence in our hay bales. The cows won't get, get access to them. We've got some fescue in here. We've got some Ladino clover, a little bit of what we call wire grass, which is pretty hard to get rid of. This pasture right here is nearly 90% percent 
I guess it's, we call it wire grass, but I guess it's, um, it's a type of grass that creeps along the ground. I think it's a native grass, but it's very invasive. It's hard to get rid of. We're getting ready to walk up on a nice big patch of it. Got a tree limb down right up here, but it's not on the fence. And ideally, if we had had the appropriate amount of rain here, these cows will be wading belly deep in grass right now. We just haven't had the rain that we need to sustain the pastures. You know, every two or three days we need to get some good rain. I get a lot of comments about uh, irrigating. Can you imagine, have you ran a sprinkler out in your yard before? Can you imagine trying to irrigate this? Guys, it's nearly impossible. I mean, we're talking about tens of thousands of dollars worth of infrastructure to water this. So it's much cheaper to just feed hay when we have the dry times. These guys have a big bunch of grass here. We've got a huge expanse. The cows will be in this spot for about two or three days. We want them to, to chew this stuff down to the nub. They're going to get the sweetest and best grasses first. And then they're going to start in on that wire grass, and that's what this is. And they're already eating some of it, but right now they're going after the sweetest and the best. Both calves move through. Cow number 24. So we're, we've got some uncomfortable moms because we weaned to the trailer, if you get my drift. We took some cows to market so we could recoup some expenses. That's just part of the circle of life here on the farm. Mama number 24. Her milk sack is pretty swollen. It'll go down. It's been two days now. It'll go down pretty soon. I'll show you. When you go to wean, it makes mama a little uncomfortable. But the problem is, if you don't wean, you can see how she's thin. She's fairly thin. She's getting fatter, uh, but she needs more nutrient. We got to build that belly up so that next year's offspring does really well. I can already see, even though the calves have been gone for like two days, I can already see a huge difference in the size of mom. Susie says, you get all your hay for the winter. Yes, sure did. Dennis says, did you shut off sawmill? Nope, I'm, I'm letting it run while we're up here. I'm going to let it run for about 20 minutes and charge, top off the battery, really. That's really what I'm after. Got Pam for Buffalo, New York. Morning, Denise, Estelle, Thomas, Patrick, Eddie from Alabama. Good deal. Ask questions, guys, if you have any. This is my favorite sound. Listen. Hey, Mama. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. You notice they stopped mooing? I got a saying, if you're chewing, you ain't mooing. If you're mooing, you ain't chewing. This is really a testimony to how sweet these cows are. What do you smell? <laughs> She's right up here. Most Angus cattle like this aren't gonna come up on you and just let you chill out with them like this. It's pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I'm just accepted as another member of the herd. I did come up here yesterday and I went through the fence lines, rode the whole fence line, made sure we got a gate here, a gate there, made sure all of our gates are closed. And the water tank is good to go. Let's walk over to the water tank. You guys want to walk over there? See what the goldfish are doing in this water tank. <laughs> well, the cows did spread out. Somebody said the cows spread out pretty quick. Berlin Valley Stables, where you been, buddy? Good to have you. My friend's up in Ohio. We'll give him a big OH. Ohio! <laughs> I tell you, if there was another place to live or a place to grow up, Ohio seems to be one of the most awesome places I've ever visited. Really enjoy my trips up to uh, Ohio. If you guys have never been to Amish country in Ohio, 
take yourself a trip to Walnut Creek. Um, there's so much in that area. Berlin, Walnut Creek, there's so much in that area. It's near Dover, Ohio. Got a lot of shade off the trees here because the sun's just now coming up. And these cows will have access to shade in the morning here, in the evening here. Uh-oh, there's something good to eat over here. That's what, did you hear that baby moo? Mom's after the baby. That's a good mother instinct. She heard her baby right there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's so sweet. So anyway, we'll have shade here, access to shade here, and then this willow oak will provide shade for them also. Estelle said, meant so in love with him. Let me read your comment. If I wasn't so in love with my fiance, I'd come down there and live. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Got some Texas folks, some Iowa folks in the house. Gerald, good morning from Texas. Hopefully, I've got to go pick up a new couch today. <laughs> so hopefully we uh, don't have any rain this morning. Got to head to town. This is our uh, goldfish tank. It's a little cloudy right now. You can see goldfish have plenty to eat in here. I'm hoping they'll start reproducing. There's three goldfish in this tank right now, and the cows will come and drink. Let's talk about what you're seeing here. Why are you seeing pipe, PVC pipe? The reason you're seeing this is because baby calves or young calves like to get into water, okay? And they will jump over in the water tank. So we put these in these uh, bars across here. I say we, so I put these bars here uh, so that the cows don't jump over in there. And this is just uh, electrical PVC piping. This is just some leftovers from projects here on the farm. That's a Joby Mega Flow valve, and that will keep up with the cows. Every bit of the watering system on the farm is all serviced by the solar panels you see right over the crest of the hill right there. Now, what is it about cattle instinct that makes them graze under the fence? Look at this. This cow's grazing under the fence, although there is plenty of grass out here. They all go right under the fence. <laughs> Tell me why they do that. You guys know? You'll get rain tomorrow, Tuesday, guaranteed, says Short Bus Mooner. You're darn right, buddy. You're darn right. Well, we got rain yesterday, and we got rain the day before. Um, so we're getting plenty of rain on the farm. We're getting too much rain on the farm, honestly. That's all right. That makes for good mushroom hunting. We're going to do some videos up in the mountains, finding and foraging for wild mushrooms. If you guys want to see that. Ziggy says, what do you, what do you rate the solar system one to 10? I rate it a 15. <laughs> if there was a 15 in that, that's what I would rate it. It's been absolutely fantastic. Only one hiccup one time, and that was because a sensor acted up. Um, absolutely fantastic. So I, I can't, can't say enough about it. It's a Lorentz solar well system. At some point we're going to have a hiccup with it. I'm sure everything mechanical will eventually fail, but, uh, I'm super happy with it. Super happy. Nice. Good looking cows. Good looking grass. Ziggy says got rain past couple days. We're only, this is Virginia. That's Virginia. We're not far from Virginia here. Got a gorgeous view up on the top of this ridge too. This is the highest point on the entire farm. It's, uh, well, I say this is the highest point. That's the highest point on the entire farm. This is the highest pasture on the entire farm. That's Susie. Let's see if Susie girl let us pet her. Susie, good morning. Sometimes Susie is a little bit grumpy, I think. Let's see. Susie, morning, Susie. 
Susie was the first cow that let me pet her. Good morning. Good morning, girl. Yep, she's grumpy. <laughs> sometimes she'll let us pet her and sometimes she won't. Susie is one of the cattle that had her babies first this year. You can see her udders are a little bit swollen. Uh, they're no longer bawling for the babies. Um, and we've, we've got her all weaned up, but you can see she's had a big calf on her and that's why she's so thin right in here. You can see her back, her ribs a little bit and you can see her backbone, but she'll fatten up very soon. The first time she's really let me love on her like this. Good girl, don't kick me. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Ziggy says, need a house on that high point. I would have put my house up here, uh, my permanent home, but there's a blacktop road right there, and there are homes up here already. I didn't want to look at anybody else's house. I just wanted to look at my place. So we've got a gorgeous view um, from the barn dominium. You can see the top of the barn dominium right here. I honestly, you know, when you've got a property that's this large, why, why even... Uh, why build anything where we can see another house? You can only see one house from my front porch currently. And uh, I, I like that. I just, that's why, that's why we uh, move out to the country, right? Okay, we're gonna go over the fence. We'll turn the electric fence back on. Cows grazed up in here. They did a good job knocking all this down. Me and the rock picker have an appointment up here to pick up all these rocks and get them down into a spot that is a little better suited uh, down in some gullies to keep things from washing. Let's go down and see Buddy too. Come on, boy. He's a smart dog. He knows not to come near the cows. Come out. And he's like, I ain't coming up there, man. I know I'll get in trouble. Come on, boy. There you go. Come on. <laughs> All right. We're going to go turn the razor grazer back on. I'll show you guys how that works. Augusta, Georgia, Berlin Valley Sables. Have you done any sawmill work lately? Man, it has been hot. Super, super hot. I have not, but it's coming. We got cooler weather. It's okay, boy. Come on. He knows he's not supposed to be in the pasture. Come on. Sometimes at night, buddy will roam a little bit and he knows he's not supposed to be in the pasture. See it? Very good. Oh, so good. Very good. <laughs> All right, let's turn on the uh, razor grazer. So this wire is not hot right now, but it will be. The solar system that I was telling you about is right there. There's a well. It's about 460 feet deep right there in that solar system. With that control box, this powers all of the water on the Stony Ridge farm. Everything passing. The power of the sun. We grow our grass with the power of the sun and we grow our water with the power of the sun. That's a cool setup right there. Rangeward.com if you guys want to check one out. Very cool. I've got to get in here this winter and build a permanent fence structure around here. Uh, that's another project. Another of the many projects on the Stony Ridge. Hey, stop eating cow poop, bro. You, you remember the accident you had on the porch? Huh? What is, what are you eating poop for? Huh? You ain't gonna come over here begging. What are you gonna eat? What are you eating poop for? You're gonna get sick. You need your roughage? Come on, that's not salad. <laughs> All right, I gotta remember that wire is up there and get that thing pulled out. I'm surprised the bush hog didn't clip that thing off. <laughs> 